Okay, so we are talking about minimum spanning trees, and Kuskal's algorithm is a series of steps that ensures that we have a minimum spanning tree for graphs like this one here. Okay, so here we have high-speed internet cables being laid for these six villages, and the distance between the villages are shown in kilometers. The cost per kilometer is estimated to be 10,000 euros per kilometer to lay this cable. Using Kruskal's algorithm, determine the minimum spanning tree graph and estimate the cost of supplying internet to these villages. And then we want to, for service reason, E and B must be directed. So this is, we'll save this for afterwards. Okay, in order to do this, we need to know what Kruskal's algorithm is. And here are the steps. We find the edge of the least weight anywhere in the graph. And if there's two or more edges of the same weight, any of them can be chosen. It doesn't matter which one you start with. Then you add the edge of least weight that has not already been selected and does not form a cycle. That's key. You do not want any cycles because then you don't have a tree. And so it doesn't form a cycle with any of the previous edges. And repeat the second stage until all the vertices are connected. You keep on going, adding until all vertices are connected, and then you're done. Okay, so when I do this, I want to find the edge of the least weight. And if I look at that, I have a weight of 2 and a weight of 2 here. Those two are least. I can choose either one. It does not matter. So I am going to start with AE, which is 2. And so I'm also going to start to like draw an AE over, over here. A to E. This is 2. All right, and so I started with that. And one of the things I also like to do, so I don't lose track of which ones that I've... Once I've got them all selected, then I can say that I'm done. So I have A, I have E done. Then I want to come along and do the next scenario of the least weight. Well, this is the least weight, and so I'm going to be over here. Here is BC, and it is 2, and so BC is next. And so now I'm going to look and see, well, I have a 3 here and a 3 here, so I'm going to go from E to D, and this is 3. So E to D I did next. It's important that I communicate the order that I'm doing these in. And so now I have E and D are taken care of, and I have C also. I have A, B, C, D. And then I can also do the next three is D to F. So then I can go D to F. D to F is uh, 3, and so I'm going D to F equals 3, and so F is taken care of. And so now I look and go, okay, so next after 3 is 4. But if I add this one, this would come back to E and a cycle would be created. So I cannot do this one because I do not want cycles to be created. And then I also, next thing, so there's one, there's, now I have a 5 and a 5. The order does not matter which one I choose to do because it will connect them all up. If I connect them here to here, then I know I have B connected. Oh, I do have B as well but I have to connect them all together. And so I could go to here to here, or I could also go here to here. Because they're both five, it doesn't matter. And so I'll choose to go here. This is five, and so I have A to B is five. And I add them up. I have uh, 10, I have 15. So in total, the cost will be 15,000, uh, oh, 150,000 dollars if each kilometer is 10 or euros this is the cost of laying this high speed internet cable between these scenarios and one of the things i want to point out a couple things first is there are could be several different spanning trees like i could have done this scenario here where this is five and so i would have had a different endpoint here but what you notice is that the weight is the same. So there are many different possible combinations, but they all lead to the same minimum spanning tree. So these are not unique. You have to write up and show the order that you've chosen to connect them. Also, I'd like to make note that there are one, two, three, four, five paths, and there are six vertices. 
and that is always true as well. So you know if there are six vertices, you're going to have five edges to contain um, in total. All right, and so now B part says for service reason E and B must be directly connected. Well, that means I'm going to have to do a different approach for this. I'm going to have to adapt what I have in a different way. And so let's try this again. I'm going to, I have no choice, but I have to, the way I adapt this scenario, I have to directly choose them. I start with EB. I have no choice. I need these connected. I will start with EB. And so here is seven, E and B. From there, then I go look for the smallest. I can choose this two or this two. I'll do B, C this time. So I get two and C. So I have B, C is two. Then I'm gonna go up here to A. That's also two, that's the next shortest one. And now I'm going to go to the threes. I'm going to go E to D is three. Oh, D, E to D is three. And then I can go D to F is also three. D to F is also three. And then I cannot connect these up. If I would connect those up, I would have a cycle, which I'm not allowed to do. So I cannot connect those up. I look for the next five is here, A to B, but that also connects me, but I'm all done. I have all my vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to connect them up because I'm all done. Now if I add them up, I can see that I have five, 10, I now have 19. So if I must connect these two together, it will cost me a lot more money to do so. And this is Kruskal's algorithm. Start with the smallest and keep on going without making any cycles.